today I would like to show you my small Bath & Body Works candle collection. It's fairly modest compared to uh, almost all or many that you'll see on YouTube, but I think it's probably more realistic uh, perhaps for people who uh, are more amateurs in, ter in terms of candle collecting. Um, so this is where I keep my Bath & Body Works candles as of two weeks ago, I think. Prior, I kept them in a closet. I recently moved, um, and I just wanted something different. And I couldn't really afford to get a huge, uh, huge cabinet, so I kept this small one for about $150 at Canadian Tire, and I actually love it. It's not super sturdy, but it's it's good for what it is, and I, it looks really nice, and it's perfect, really. You just have to be very careful moving it. Uh, yeah. So, on top of the cabinet, I have a pedestal stand that I got during the summer sale at Bath & Body Works. And on top of that, I have buttercream icing, which is a really nice um, vanilla scent. Um, I feel like it's different than the typical maybe frosted cupcake scent. There's something a little, like I feel like is added to it and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know, but it kind of smells like the pitcher. Like it's not just vanilla. It seems like there's a little something else in it too, but I do really like it quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, I really like that. I really love those pedestal uh, holders. I wish they had them all year round, but I... I don't think that they do. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to go through the collection and maybe give brief commentary on certain candles. Okay, so this is the inside of the cabinet. On top, I decided not to put candles up there because I really, I don't trust the stability of that shelf. Plus, I don't have any more to put up there, so... <laughs> All the more reason to just put my body lotions there. Plus, I really like the idea of putting them there because if I decide to put them in a specific place, maybe I'll remember to use them a bit more often. Um, yeah. And I also have a few uh, candle holders or a soap holder and a wick trimmer I've never used because I'm always scared to trim my wicks. And yeah. So. Uh, what was promised was a candle collection video, so we'll go down to the bottom shelf. Here on the side, another side note, I have a Tiki Beach room spray, which is really nice. I've never actually had the candle, but the room spray is pretty nice. Uh, so, uh, this first kind of mini row here, I have Wind Down Pomegranate Sangria, which is a really nice scent. Um, it's I'm not sure if there's any that recently came out in the new kind of wine line, <laughs> pardon the rhyme, <laughs> uh, that smell like pomegranate sangria, but that one smells really nice. I just started to burn it about a week ago, even though I got it um, in late December last year, but it, it's quite unique. I, I do like it. It's definitely, it's not a favorite or anything, but it's nice. Then I have Stress Relief eucalyptus spearmint that candle is incredibly strong so it's almost to the point of being too strong to be honest uh, I was trying before I moved recently I was trying to finish it but I just couldn't like I had to blow it out because it was too strong but maybe uh, I was hoping uh, it would reduce my stress during the move and maybe it did but I'm not sure to be honest and then next to that I have two apple crumble which I do really like uh, obviously, uh, that's a kind of throwback fragrance. It's available online only currently on the website, and that's where I managed to get those. I started burning one a little bit, and after this video is over, I'm going to put it back to where I was burning it originally. I kind of put my candles that I was currently burning back in here, so I don't know, to show them. And then I have two leaves candles, and I think I'm going to start to burn one of those too as well. I think that would probably pair nicely with apple crumble. Leaves is a definite all-time favorite of mine. And by all-time, I mean, <laughs> well, I just started burning these candles, like Bath & Body Works candles, last year. So it's not like I've been a long-time fan or anything, but oh, 
leaves is amazing. When I first ordered it or bought it, I thought <laughs> I thought like it would smell like leaves. I thought it would smell more like sweater weather smells, but it's like more like an apple cider smell. It's beautiful in my opinion, and I do really like it. All right, so here's my second row of candles. Um, I try. <laughs> it's funny. I normally do not. I'm not organized normally, but I try to for the intent of this video to group them according to some sort of theme but anyway uh, so this first column here is of kind of the more pure pumpkin fragrances I have pumpkin pie which I recently bought I saw it in a store originally I was gonna order it online when it went on sale but after I smelled it in store it's all right like it probably does smell like a pumpkin pie and to be honest, pumpkin pie isn't my favorite to begin with, so that's probably why I wasn't, like, blown away by it. Um, so I just got the one. I was kind of hoping it would smell a bit more like heirloom pumpkin, but it does not. Uh, I haven't burned pumpkin pie or heirloom pumpkin, so I suppose that I can't really comment on which one is better, but just smelling it cold heirloom pumpkin definitely seems more strong than pumpkin pie and just uh, it's spicier and I, and I like that um heirloom pumpkin that was from last year to my knowledge it hasn't come back for this year which is really a shame because i feel like this is at least in my short experience one of my favorite fragrances even if i haven't burned it it's actually a long story why I didn't get around to burning that last Thanksgiving, but uh, just family illness or whatnot, sensitivity to scents, migraines and stuff, so I'm hoping to get around to burning one of those. I'll probably want to hold on to the other one, uh, just because it hasn't come back, and I don't know. I should probably just burn both of them, but whatever. Uh, in the second column here, I have kind of more pure, not pure, but caramel based fragrances so I have salty caramel which I haven't burned yet that one I got online it's an online exclusive currently uh, then I have warm caramel cider which is one of my all-time favorites I did actually burn one of those I, I burned through one last year that's a candle from last year it smells like caramel apples and you know what I feel like if they re-release that exact fragrance and called it caramel apple or something like that it would sell like crazy and I don't know why they don't do it because I, I think it would be extremely popular and summer boardwalk I already burned through one this summer and that's the second one I'm not a huge fan of the label I don't hate the label I just I think I preferred last year and the year before those versions a bit more I don't know they just think more of like a carnival or whatnot, whereas that's kind of kind of nautical, and I don't feel like the nautical theme really goes along with what it smells like, which is kind of like it's caramel primarily and vanilla and apples and stuff like that. It doesn't really go along with seascape, in my opinion. Anyway, and salty caramel is different up top there. It has a kind of a nuttiness to it. I think it'll be really great, to be honest, but I haven't burned it yet. And then the third row or column I have is kind of vanilla based fragrances. I have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow that was my backup from last year. I burned through um, the first one that I had. That, I there was a lot of anticipation regarding the release of that candle. Uh, people ha weren't sure if it had passed the test phase. And then when it appeared on the website, I just immediately ordered it without smelling it at a store or anything. Not that I really have that option, but uh, I don't know. It was kind of a letdown for me, but it's probably my own fault because I probably just, I think I prefer vanilla. Like if I were, I don't know, I really like vanilla fragrances, pumpkin fragrances, but maybe I'm not so much of a marshmallow person. I don't even eat marshmallows because they're not vegetarian, but I don't know. I really liked um, Campfire Treat. From Yankee Candle but I just I don't like marshmallow fireside either from Bath and Body Works I have actually one of those candles um, at my parents house and I really I don't like it 
anyway, so I'll probably avoid in future candles that have marshmallow in the name just because I don't really like them, but I know that a lot of people do really enjoy that one. And then I have one of my other all-time favorites, Confetti Cupcake, which, once again, just like Warm Caramel Cider, I don't understand, like, they can make so much money if they had that, like, almost as, like, a signature fragrance, like, if they renamed it, like, if that was their old Frosted Cupcake, I don't know, but it's amazing, and it's strong, and it's beautiful, and it's just, oh. I've been just saving that candle because I got it, like, I burned through one at New Year's, and this one, I just, like, I don't want to burn it, like, but I probably will eventually. Maybe it will lose its scent or something, so maybe I should burn it. I don't know. I'm not sure what the shelf life of candles is. And then below that, I have buttercream icing, which is also very nice, but in my view, not as amazing as confetti cupcake, but still worth, definitely worth getting if you like vanilla scents. So this is my final row of extant candles, so candles that have not been completely obliterated yet in terms of burning. <laughs> that was kind of a dramatic way of stating that, but it's true. I've gone through quite a few, I mean, in the past, not as many as some people. I'm not the type of person to be constantly burning candles. In fact, I go through pretty long periods of time where I can't burn anything at all because I get some sort of respiratory illness. I do have asthma. I probably shouldn't burn them at all, but oh, it's kind of a guilty, uh, guilty pleasure of mine is uh, scent-related things, <laughs> even though I shouldn't even indulge in them. Anyway, so I guess on the far side here, I have two mason jars of twisted peppermint, which is totally amazing. It is my absolute favorite until now, anyway. Um, holiday scent. It's perfect. I just love it. It's very strong and it's just pepperminty and perfect. Um, and then I have a column. I don't know what the proper term would be. A vertical stack <laughs> of candles. So I have autumn up above. Uh, that's from this year. It's, I don't even know why I got that one to be honest. It's not that it's terrible. It's fine. It's kind of like apple and kind of pine together. It's almost like apple, apples and Christmas trees. It's, it all, I don't know, it'll probably be all right to burn maybe in November. I started to burn it, but I think I'm going to save it. And then below are two sweater weathers, uh, which I'm not 100% sure why I got two, or even one for that matter. I mean, it's, I've never burned it before, so I'm kind of going out on a limb. But when I had gone to the store, which I hardly ever get to because it's like six hours away, it's, it, it, didn't, well, it smells all right, just very different from anything I've burned before, but the label, oh, it's so pretty, and it was one of the only fall candles they had out at the time, so I kind of just grabbed two, whereas if they would have had more fall candles out, it might not have even made the cut, and I might not have purchased it at all, but we'll see, we'll see. If not, it will be like a permanent part of my collection that I just never get around to burning. Um, so next stack or column are the summer candles that I have not burned and probably won't burn because I've started to burn fall candles for whatever reason. Uh, on top I have a uh, Honolulu Sun, which I didn't burn and I've never burned one. And I ordered it online at the same time I ordered some other candles that have since been extinguished forever uh, because I finished them. So uh, I think I ordered it along with Island Margarita and Sunset Beach and Pomelo, Pom Pomelo Paradise. Um, Island Margarita was disappointing to me because it didn't smell like a margarita. It wasn't, it's not any lime in it at all. Um, and Pomelo Paradise and Sunset Beach were disappointing in that they weren't very strong. And Honolulu Sun I never even ignited or lit because... Oh, is my finger on the... Okay, good. I was just checking to make sure my finger wasn't on the microphone because that's what happened last time. I had to redo the whole video. Um, yeah, Honolulu Sun, I don't like the way it smells. And I don't know if I want to set up my a place like that with that. I don't know. I know it's a huge favorite of a lot of people, but it's just not me. I think I thought it would smell more like suntan does, and it just does not. It 
it smells like something else. So, kind of a disappointment there. Uh, then I have Limoncello Pop Tail, which smells amazing. I probably should have gotten more than one, and I haven't even burned one yet. Like, that is the only one that I bought. It's hard, because I wish I could buy so many more candles than I do, but I just, I cannot justify it. Um, at the present time, <laughs> financially, but... It's, a, it's really nice, like, really nice. I think it smells exactly the same as the other limoncello that they have, but perfect, love it. Hopefully I'll burn it at some point, although I'm kind of, I'm always scared to burn it when I only have one of it, but I don't know. And then Spiked Cherry Limesicle, I, this is my second one, I already burned one, it's really nice, not a favorite, but definitely very pleasant, just not quite as strong as I would have liked it to be, but definitely something different. And then final row here, I have uh, some winter candles that I've left over. I have winter, which I burned a little bit last winter, but it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. I, I purchased it blindly online, and it's just a bit too smoky for me, but it does have a very unique fragrance, which I can understand kind of very nostalgic unique but it's very smoky it has a smokiness to it for sure and it just wasn't my favorite and didn't go with other candles that I was burning at the same time so I didn't really get through it but yeah and then there's two twisted peppermints which once again my favorite um this upcoming um Christmas I'm hoping to get like a mint chocolate fragrance there was one that came out last year and I'm not sure why I didn't grab it like maybe I th maybe it had bad review or something or maybe it sold out too quickly but I think mint chocolate is definitely something I haven't tried that I would really enjoy so hopefully they'll come out with something like that this year and also gingerbread but not pumpkin gingerbread I just didn't go for that but just pure gingerbread I think that would be awesome so anyway that is the entirety of my collection what I have left after having burned many um, maybe in another video I'll show you my Yankee collection although I'm very much quote unquote over Yankee candle at this point because it's pretty much pointless uh, for illumination only uh, candles so have a great day and maybe in future I'll show you another collection video where I'll probably have entirely different candles along with a few I've never burned because I don't like them. Okay, the end.